Well hi there everyone, uh, Farm Sim Gamer here, welcome back to the channel and to Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Now, following the recent release of Bucks County on the Mod Hub, uh, if anyone has watched my previous episodes on Bucks County or other Bucks County videos, and having recently downloaded the Bucks County map from the Mod Hub in the last few days, then you may have noticed that there are a number of differences to the farm layouts, and you'd be right. Um, the original Bucks County map by TNT Modding came out about six months ago back in May of this year for PC only. Now unfortunately, TNT could not get the map approved for the Mod Hub due to the modding world farm buildings and husbandries that he used which Giants would not allow. So as a result of that, TNT has recently had to amend the four farm layouts uh, using the buildings and husbandries from Lone Oak in order to get Giants approval for it to go on the Mod Hub, which has recently re uh, been released for both PC and console. Now I'm really pleased about this because it's a great map and it deserves to be on the Mod Hub, so I'm very happy for TNT that he's finally got it approved. However, I think he probably had to make a few compromises in the farm layout design, so today I thought we would take a quick look at the original versions versus the amended layouts so that you can decide which you think you might prefer. Now the good news for PC players, and unfortunately it won't be an option for those on console, is the original version is still available from TNT and I'll show you where you can download that at the end of the video. Now my personal view, and I'm not suggesting there is anything wrong with the updated version of the map or the low note buildings at all, but having seen both and having played the original version for quite a few months, I prefer the original version of the map as I think the style of buildings from Modern World are much more in keeping with the overall map style. And I'm guessing that TNT probably prefers the original too, as that's how he designed it in the first place. So to my knowledge, uh, the only changes to the map are to the four farm layouts, nothing else has changed. Um, the equipment loadout is slightly different in the amended version that's on the mod hub, and there are some new combine mods in the garage with very big grain tank capacities, but apart from that I think everything else has pretty much stayed the same. So let's take a look at the differences in the four farms. So what I'll do is I'll um, just put up a side-by-side uh, -side picture of the um, original farm layout and the amended farm layout, uh, just so you can kind of get a, uh, an idea of how they have changed. And then we'll look at um, uh, each uh, version um, individually uh, in a bit more detail. So this is the, uh, the main farm, the main cattle farm, um, and this is what you get if you um, uh, start in new farmer mode. Um, so as you can see, um, the grain silo, uh, the grain bins in front of us kind of take a pretty prominent position right in the middle of the farm. Um, now what I should say is that the actual kind of layout of the land hasn't changed at all between the original version and the um, newer version. Um, the, the cow pastures are kind of all the same. It's really the use of the different buildings and the placement of those buildings that's changed. Um, so as you can see here directly below us, um, we've got the milk collection point for the cows, um, we've got um, a vehicle shed, the red vehicle shed that's kind of right down here, right in front of us, next door to that yeah, is the manure bunker, um, and then if we just kind of go round over to this side, uh, then you've got the cattle shed um, that's uh, over there towards the front of the farm where the track is. Um, you've got the buying silo for seed, lime and uh, solid fertiliser. Um, you've got the feed point for the cattle there and obviously you've got your um, slurry tank that's just over the side there. Um, so those are some fundamental things that have kind of changed in the uh, in the new version. You've got the uh, large grain silo here. Now for those of you that might have watched episode one, um, I sold that large four bin grain silo and replaced it with um, a single large bin multi-fruit silo. Uh, and part of that was kind of to, to do with with budgetary um, startup in farm manager mode um, and being able to kind of buy the, the, the main farm which is 1.75 million. Um, so if we then uh, kind of go uh, over towards the uh, farm, we've got a large vehicle shed that's there. Uh, we've got um, the water tank that's all just also just nestled down there between the trees. Um, now the original uh, hen uh, kind of coop or open plan uh, coop for the hens um, is directly down there between that shed and the um, bunker silos. Uh, we've got another machine shed which is kind of down there, diesel tank that's next door to that. Um, and then uh, we've also got the... Um, 
uh, workshop which is directly beneath us uh, as well. Now as you can see um, there's also quite a lot of kind of junk and bits and pieces that are included in this um, uh, this map if we kind of pop down uh, you can see that um, uh, there's the fuel tank the diesel tank that's kind of in front of us you've got kind of all these little uh, bits of detail uh, this kind of junk and stuff like that you would um, yeah, you know probably kind of find on the map um, the water tanks just uh, just around there the old style kind of water tank that's just up against um, uh, the other farm building and then uh, we've got the workshop as well um, which I uh, think was kind of a much nicer uh, feature in the original version of the map as well um, and then when we wander around the side in fact actually you can go through the workshop and out the door at the back um, into kind of what is the sort of hay barn and feature in the original um, version so this building that sticks out here was the hay barn um, so you've got a uh, uh, drop-off point that's just outside here um, uh, there for the loose straw loose hay uh, etc um, and then the kind of um, uh, loadout point uh, that's kind of just in there and then there's a bit of a additional storage uh, but as you can see there was a few other kind of vehicles that were dotted around which sort of just added to the flavor and uh, everything of the uh, the map style um, so uh, um, that was kind of the original layout there's the uh, the original bunker silos as well that kind of faced out towards the grass field that uh, is yours if you start in um, uh, or part of this whole sort of block of land um, and the pond and everything that hasn't kind of changed that uh, remains in place for the new um, the new version of the map as well um, but I think as you can probably see the style and the size of these buildings I think in many respects is much more in keeping with um, the overall kind of look and feel of the Bucks County map um, and when we go and have a look at the new version um, I think uh, as I said beforehand there's no nothing wrong with the buildings um, that have been used in the updated version that are from Lone Oak um, but I think they were obviously designed for Lone Oak and as a result of that my own kind of personal feeling is that they look a little bit out of place um, here in Bucks County so so um, uh, that's kind of my opinion. But we'll go and have a look at the uh, the new version now, and um, that will enable you to um, you know kind of do a comparison and make your own minds up in terms of which you think is better. Right. Okay. So this is the uh, um, new version of the main farm. Um, and as you can see quite a few of the buildings have uh, changed not least that uh, grain silo in uh, in the middle of the map now I do kind of like that grain silo um, it's got a sort of an old authentic feel to it so um, that's quite nice and it has got a good capacity as well uh, so you won't have any issues um, in terms of storage that sort of thing um, now the farm's a little bit more spread out the bunker silos themselves have been kind of moved um, over here into the uh, grass field so that does reduce the size of the grass field a little bit but not a huge amount um, the chicken coop has has been um, moved down between the trees you can see the little red building there so that's where the chickens have moved to um, and in terms of the kind of land uh, I think the only thing that I can see that's really sort of changed is just this um, uh, obviously the pathway that goes out towards the bunker silo and it uh, looks like TNT has added some um, kind of trees in where the original bunker silo uh, and chicken coop were um, so uh, the actual kind of um, uh, uh, cattle um, uh, pastures they haven't changed at all they look uh, pretty similar um, to me you've got the cattle uh, uh, shed that's down in front of us uh, there um, now there's no big uh, slurry tank uh, that's just a, sort of more of a traditional um, uh, slurry pit that's just by the side of the uh, the vehicle there you've got the manure bunker that's just down by the side there the water point that's moved to the front of the track um, you can see the uh, buying silo uh, just up against that shed there that is for um, the uh, fertilizer, solid fertilizer, uh, seed and lime. Um, and then one nice thing that has kind of been added is the two tankers down there are liquid fertilizer and herbicide. So that's kind of new um, in this version, which is quite nice. I like that. Um, and then uh, the workshop has obviously changed quite a lot. That's kind of more um, the uh, uh, sort of traditional workshop that uh, is available in game. And then you've got your main um, vehicle sheds that are uh, down here. So if we kind of just pop down and um, have a little look uh, in the vehicle sheds. Um, so plenty of storage, um, probably if anything a bit more storage than was in the uh, original version uh, so, so plenty of places to put all your equipment. Um, the shed that's here does kind of link through uh, to um, the main part of that shed so you can go the right the way uh, into here um, with the door at the front 
quite a big uh, cavernous shed this one so quite large obviously the grain silo in the middle there's the uh, drop off and loadout point as well there there's your workshop trigger um, and then you've got other storage uh, here as well um, I'm not quite so keen on this shed personally but um, uh, it, you know, it's kind of okay and serves a purpose for sure and then the track um, that originally kind of went around the back of the uh, original farm buildings in the in the original version of the map um, just kind of walks around here and goes down into the pond uh, which is still here so it's still a nice farm layout um, absolutely um, uh, you know and I think if you hadn't seen the original you'd look at this and go yeah you know it's okay um, and uh, plenty of space to turn vehicles around and uh, everything else so um, you know kind of no issue uh, with any of that whatsoever and I think um, um, you know TNT has done a good job in um, uh, you know kind of making this work with the low note buildings that were available that he knew would get approval and sign off through uh, uh, through giants um, so there's your chicken coop um, this track still goes out here but has been extended to where the bunker silos are and of course then this is your grass field as well so they're obviously very handy um, for um, uh, for your grass silage uh, as and when you uh, you decide to make it um, so overall I think it's still great um, yeah I, I think you know no issues you still enjoy um, playing on this map without a doubt uh, I still think it's got a uh, you know kind of nice feel to it and everything else but my preference personally is still the original farm layout I just think it's got a nicer overall uh, feel to it so that's the uh, that's the new version of the main cattle farm Here's a quick side-by-side uh, -side view of the uh, two pig farm layouts, the original at the top and the amended one down the bottom. Um, and as you can see, they're quite, uh, quite different. So this is the original layer of the pig farm. Um, as you can see, there was a large uh, grain silo that's just off on the left-hand side here. Vehicle storage is kind of directly below us. We've got the water tank that's at the back here, and then also that buying silo for uh, seed, fertilizer, and lime. Um, there's another small storage shed that's just uh, kind of in the middle of the uh, of the farmyard there. And then this was the original um, uh, kind of piggery, um, and pigsty, and everything. So this farm's not particularly big, um, uh, but I. I think the original layout was kind of um, you know nicely thought out and uh, I think having um, originally designed um, these farms with the buildings that they had without the actual kind of layout of the land changing um, it's obviously been slightly more difficult to then incorporate um, the new low note buildings into this kind of plot of um, land because it which it would have originally been designed for the modern world um, uh, buildings so kind of understand that that might have been a little bit harder to uh, um, to do um, but a nice simple kind of layout uh, that's um, for here and obviously there is a farmhouse here as well but that's not um, uh, a sleep trigger so if you did buy this um, uh, the, the, the pig farm um, that farmhouse is not your actual sleep trigger um, uh, at all although there are ways in which you can kind of make it your uh, your sleep trigger um, so that's the that's the pig farm and um, we'll go and have a look at the new version now Uh, this is the updated pig farm. Um, so as you can see, it's had uh, quite a quite a few changes to it. Um, the main house is uh, still there, down by the little entrance track that comes up. Um, you've got some big uh, storage uh, vehicle storage that's just uh, down here, kind of right in front of us. Um, as you can see there, uh, we've still got that buying silo for the fertilizer, the lime, and seed. Um, you've got a water tank uh, that's opposite the um, manure pit, um, and then down through the trees, you can. See see that there uh, is the um, I'll just turn around so you can see those uh, you've got the um, uh, the liquid fertilizer and liquid herbicide uh, the pick uh, um, uh, area itself has obviously changed quite a lot still kind of nice and you've got plenty of kind of um, uh, vehicle storage I guess uh, another shed that's down below us there um, and the large what was the large grain silo has been swapped out for um, uh, a much smaller silo as well I'd need to check the capacity on that see uh, what that might have reduced down to um, so still a nice layout um, for sure um, and uh, I, I think the pig farm was kind of never my favorite partly because it's a bit off the beaten track up in the uh, northeast corner of the uh, uh, of the map um, but uh, it's still a nice area um, like I said plenty of space and everything um, I'm kind of guessing that that uh, I might just pop down and see I'm guessing that might be a diesel tank down there um, not 100% sure but um, yeah that looks like uh, diesel fuel so I'm guessing that's all operational still some good kind of storage here um, 
uh, for vehicles. Um, and uh, yeah, so, you know, overall, still a kind of nice layout, um, very practical, plenty of space uh, and everything else. And um, I think, you know, in, to be honest, I, I probably don't have too much of an opinion on this or the uh, or the other version. Uh, it's nice to see there is actually a little bit of detail there in terms of old rubbish skip and uh, and everything else as well. Might have missed that on uh, um, on the main cattle farm. Um, so uh, still a nice option. And um, uh, uh, as you can see, you know, a few kind of subtle differences. And as I mentioned before, um, although there's a house kind of up here and on the farm, um, that's not your actual sleep trigger. It will still be the main house that's uh, on that track um, near the uh, the main cattle farm. So moving on to the horse stables and as you can see um, some quite significant differences um, between the two versions of this farm layout. So here we are at the original version of the horse stables um, and this has seen um, some you know quite significant changes in the original version that you can see down below here there was a large kind of horse training area um, uh, there was also the, the house that's um, kind of directly below us as well um, uh, which isn't uh, in the new version a, um, a smaller uh, grain silo um, and uh, and some storage for vehicles um, and also that buying silo again that you can see just kind of right down in the middle there um, and then uh, that area up there which is kind of the um, uh, the horse paddock uh, and the original barn I think that pretty much still remains and then there's also just a uh, another storage shed that's off to one side um, so this has had quite a, uh, a significant change to it um, you still get the field that's next door um, but um, quite a quite a few amends and changes that had to be made to uh, this farm area. Now the horse uh, stables in the new version has changed quite a lot. Uh, we've lost all of that training paddock um, which was kind of originally right down below us uh, here. That's been replaced by uh, quite a big kind of modern um, building. Um, so that's a that's a big change. Uh, the original house has disappeared as well. Um, so that's uh, that's no longer here. Got a large uh, grain silo um, uh, down below us and some vehicle storage where the house used to be. Um, and then down below us you can see that they uh, um, TNT's added the uh, herbicide and liquid fertilizer storage and then also that buying silo for um, uh, for the seed, lime and uh, solid fertilizer. So quite a big change uh, quite a lot of big changes here um, really. The uh, the original barn and the small storage shed um, and the horse sort of uh, paddock and pasture that hasn't changed really. Um, neither has the uh, the field that's just off here to one side. Um, but I think this is the uh, the biggest kind of change down here really that that whole training area for the horse stables which I guess was a really nice feature um, you know and, and, and worked very well with the, with the horse stables and sort of now um, uh, this is almost more of a, a, a kind of an arable um, farm area um, that's got a, uh, a horse barn and a little bit of a paddock area attached to it. Um, so that's kind of changed the style of this probably quite significantly. And here's our last side by side view and as you can see the two versions are quite different. Okay, so moving on to the um, sheep farm, um, and as you can just see by the uh, cyber side photo that I just showed there, um, quite a lot of changes uh, were made to um, this uh, this farm, um, and most of that was in the buildings. Uh, the overall kind of land layout pretty much remained the same. There weren't really any changes from that perspective, um, but a lot of the buildings had to be um, taken out and replaced with uh, with the new ones from Lone Oak. Um, so some of the detail that also was kind of missing in the fenced off area that was down below, um, some of the little detail that was in there, um, like the old tractor and the old trailer, that they had to be removed. Um, the white building that's just down below us there, the um, straw barn, that had to go. Um, and then moving up into the middle section of the farm, um, the original sheep uh, kind of um, barn was out in the actual pasture itself that uh, was replaced. Um, and the sort of dark rift building there was where the... Um, uh, uh, the wool used to collect um, and then at the back here we've got vehicle storage sheds um, we've got a nice barn kind of in the middle that's got a, a high raised section and a, a lower sort of undercroft which is not really accessible um, but it's a nice feature and in the original version of the map there was also a large grain silo um, which uh, hasn't been replaced in the newer version um, you've got the buying silo as well just next to that um, shed in the middle and a water point um, which are both very useful and then of course we've got vehicle storage um, in those two sheds that are off to uh, off to one side now the storage there was quite reasonable 
um, still pretty good, um, but in the newer version of the uh, um, of the layout, um, there's certainly an awful lot more um, storage. I think there was just ended up with not having a grain silo. There was a bit more storage. Um, the um, tall building that's kind of in the middle that's got that little ramp leading up to it was a little bit impractical in some respects but um, it was still a really nice feature um, now the actual sheep pasture areas themselves they haven't changed um, and the tracks that lead into the farm they are still the same as well um, so you've got one kind of at the top of the picture there one that came in by the hay barn and another one that came in by the house um, and then just at the front here where that sort of fenced off junkyard area was there was another um, sort of L-shaped storage uh, shed and barn as well which uh, which was good for um, uh, for smaller equipment to be stored in. So that's the uh, that's the original um, sheep farm layout. And again, um, you know, I think very good. Just over the road from the horse stables that you can see, um, and the uh, shop beyond that. Okay, and finally, um, this is the amended sheep farm. Uh, quite a few changes uh, here to the original. Um, it's nice to see that uh, there is still a bit of old junk and stuff like that uh, down in the, uh, uh, the fenced off area there. Um, the old hay barn that was in the original version, um, straw barn, that's uh, gone. Um, the building that you can see down by the roadside that's immediately in front of us um, is the new workshop. Um, the house has also changed, quite a grand house that's kind of down here, a little swimming pool in the back garden, so that's kind of a nice feature. Um, you've got a water tank um, just off the entrance here. Now there are kind of three routes into this uh, farm. There's the one by the, uh, the house, there's this one down uh, here directly in front of us, and then there's also the roadway that goes around the, uh, the sheep pile as well into uh, into the top yard um, so you can see the water tank that's uh, just down there between the trees um, I couldn't see a diesel tank here I'm not sure if the one that's up against the fence there with that big blue pipe is I don't think it is um, and then you've got the uh, main kind of storage areas so uh, once again the pasture areas haven't really changed they kind of pretty much remain the same the biggest amendment is to the uh, um, uh, all of the uh, storage sheds as, um, and everything so the one that is below us the green shed that's um, for the sheep um, we'll drop down just to have a quick look um, so your uh, feeding points are in here I think only one thing is still got a lone oak um, sign up on there on the wall which uh, perhaps looks a little bit uh, out of place um, so this is a, a feed and water point here the loading for the sheep is just around the corner um, uh, so just here uh, and then we've got vehicle sheds and again uh, I'm not kind of so keen on these uh, sheds in comparison to the original versions um, they're, they're sort of quite functional um, but uh, I don't think they're quite as nice but there's plenty, certainly plenty of storage uh, here for sure now the only one thing that is missing is there's no grain silo here um, but I would think you've probably got enough space um, in the middle uh, here to be able to put um, and add in a, a grain solo so um, I'm, I'm sure one way or another uh, you could put one in here but um, I'm not sure why TNT kind of left that out because on the original version of the map there was a large grain silo down here um, so it's a bit uh, a bit odd unless I'm kind of missing something but it's a little bit odd that there isn't uh, isn't a silo um, down in here because you're kind of right in the middle of the map right in amongst some um, uh, fields and um, uh, you know be a very obvious thing to uh, to do and certainly with all these machinery sheds um, you'd be think you'd be doing um, quite a lot of arable um, really so um, so that's the uh, that's the sheep farm um, again I mean I think if you hadn't seen the original uh, you'd probably still be you know kind of pretty pleased with this in terms of a layout but again my own personal feeling is I just um, liked the uh, original layouts you can see that a lot of effort had been um, you know put into their design and the look and feel um, and whilst this still looks great, without a doubt, um, uh, you know it's it's still good. My preference would probably still be the uh, the original uh, the original version. So that's the sheep farm. That's all four of the uh, farms that we've taken a look at. Um, so we'll uh, just go back and I'll show you how you can download the original version from TNT's Google Drive if that's something that you want to do. Now before I go ahead and do that, um, I have exchanged a few messages with TNT this afternoon um, and he explained to me that the uh, reason why he didn't put an awful lot of stuff on the sheep farm um, was uh, that the slot count, particularly for, for console, was getting extremely high. Um, so he wanted to avoid kind of just duplicating 
um, another grain silo um, and uh, another buying silo etc etc um, when the sheep farm and the horse stables are so close to each other um, so between these two you can share the facilities um, so there's a water tank on the sheep farm everything else is over the road um, at the horse stables so the uh, the main grain silo um, the fertilizer and herbicide tanks the buying silo for the seed line and uh, solid fertilizer and then also the diesel tanks on the other side of the, the, uh, that big building um, and the workshop as well that's kind of in there. Now, you don't have to own both pieces of land uh, to be able to share those facilities. That's um, not uh, not an issue, but um, he deliberately kept the sheep farm um, kind of free from uh, duplicating those items so that the uh, slot count for console uh, would not go through the roof because I think it's already quite high. Uh, one thing I did realise um, that I kind of missed the first time around is that there is, um, you know, quite a bit of junk and uh, and detail kicking around as well. And uh, there is a diesel tank on the main farm as well, which I uh, missed when I was originally talking about it. Um, now, uh, just to throw um, a quick kind of comparison up in terms of some of the facilities that are available on each of the map. Um, here's the sort of um, difference between the original map and the amended map. Um, and as you can see, kind of generally speaking, the main cattle farm has pretty much everything. Obviously, the liquid with herbicide uh, uh, fertilizer tanks are kind of new to the amended version of the map that's on the mod hub um, but as you can see these are the facilities that you kind of get available so um, in the newer version you tend to get a bit more um, uh, particularly on the pig farm and the horse stables but as I mentioned before um, the uh, horse stables and the sheep farm are kind of sharing those facilities so between those two um, farms you've got uh, everything that you would have on the main cattle farm as well so that just gives you an idea of what is available on um, each of the map versions. Now the only other thing to mention um, is there uh, are the addition of two extra tractors um, in the new uh, version of the game. Um, so you get this Quad Track 620, um, 692 horsepower, and also the uh, John Deere 8400R um, at um, uh, 450 horsepower uh, so a couple of big uh, um, extra tractors uh, I'm not sure if you would really need both of them on a map like this but um, uh, a nice piece of kit and good to have them in the garage um, so on the new version of the map you get these two included in your vehicle loadout as well um, and then just going through to um, vehicles on the combines um, I did mention to you that there were um, three uh, modded versions of um, uh, combines that had been added in as well so the uh, uh, John Deere S790 um, and the main change here is that the modification is 141,000 litres uh, of grain tank capacity uh, the case axle flow uh, 9240 I've um, got 150,000 and then I think yes the CR1090 uh, Revelation New Holland has got 145,000 litres of grain tank capacity um, now I don't think the corresponding headers have had their speed increased um, but certainly uh, these are obviously going to be quite uh, useful out on the field but again probably better suited to much um, larger um, kind of maps and fields rather than um, the smaller style of Bucks County uh, but still um, you know nice to have available um, but not necessarily again breaker because um, uh, it is fairly easy to be able to adjust the XML files um, in um, you know kind of modded combines so um, uh, not necessarily a deal breaker in terms of which map uh, version you might decide to use. Right, okay, to um, download an original version of the Bucks County map from TNT, um, I've put a link down in the description. So once you've clicked on that, that will take you to TNT's Google Drive. Um, as you will see, there are two versions of the Bucks County map that are in the middle of the screen there, but I would suggest and recommend that you download the Dynamic Mud version, and I'll explain uh, the reason why uh, for that in a second. If you double click on that, um, that will take you to this screen, um, and then someone on your screen, you should have a download um, uh, button mine's in the top right hand corner um, uh, just up here um, and uh, if you click on that then you can start to download into your downloads folder and once you've done that all you need to do is uh, copy that zip file into the mods folder um, in your uh, farming simulator uh, files 
Now, having exchanged a few messages with TNT this afternoon, um, he's kind of suggested that he, it doesn't really matter which version of the map that you use from his point of view, but he has suggested that if you're on PC, then the version, the original version that's on his Google Drive will be um, the better experience. Um, and that's partly because it's got um, kind of more things included in it. It's got multi-fruit, um, so additional crop types, um, multi-terrain angles, straw harvest, maize plus, etc. Things that he couldn't include on the Mod Hub version um, because it affects the um, slot count, I think, for the console version. Um, so the original version will probably be much better for PC users. Now, the one thing that he has asked, um, regardless of which version of the map um, you decide to download, um, is that if you could go on to the Mod Hub and rate um, the map. Now, um, that uh, becomes a little bit more complicated if you decide to download the Google Drive version uh, because you can only rate mods that have been installed from the in-game mod hub. Um, now, the reason why I suggested you download the dynamic um, mod version uh, from the Google Drive is that that will enable you to actually install um, both mods because the file names for the map are going to be different. The in-game mod version will be called um, Bucks County PA and the um, version that you download from Google Drive will be called Bucks County PA Dynamic Mud um, and that means that you can actually install both of them um, within the game. As a result of that, that would enable you to go and rate the in-game mod version and then delete it if need be and then carry on playing the Google Drive version that you've uh, downloaded separately. Um, so I hope I haven't confused anybody with that. I hope it makes sense. Right, so that's it for today's video. Uh, went on a little bit longer than I anticipated, but I hope you found it interesting and informative and um, uh, will help you make a decision which version of the map uh, you might want to download. And I'd certainly be interested in your feedback um, and knowing which version you think is uh, is best. Now, I will be continuing with my um, Bucks County uh, video series. Um, if you haven't had a chance to watch episodes one to four, um, then please feel free to do so. Um, and if you've enjoyed today's video, then um, please give it a thumbs up up if you haven't already subscribed um, then it'd be great if you could do that and don't forget to turn on those notifications so you know when I post um, other videos uh, so in the meantime um, take care wherever you are whatever you're doing and I'll catch you on the farm next time bye for now